Sturdy Valley doesn't really have any missable content, but you could miss out on maximizing the potential value gained if you don't prioritize these things, especially the last one in this video. Alrighty, let's get started. If you don't visit Krobus every single Friday, then you are missing out on free Iridium sprinklers. Well, you will have to pay 10,000 gold to purchase these, but besides for that, these Iridium sprinklers are basically free, especially in the early game. When I first started playing Stardew Valley and I didn't know how to farm for Iridium ore, I bought Iridium sprinklers from Krobus every single Friday without fail. It was just a given. On top of that, you shouldn't ignore the dwarf in the regular mines. He might not have iridium sprinklers for sale, but purchasing bombs from the dwarf is by far the easiest way to get bombs. Mega bombs cost 4 gold ore, 1 solar essence, and 1 void essence to crop. I just find it much easier to buy them for 1000 gold each. There is also a dwarf on the 5th floor in the volcano dungeon on Ginger Island. This dwarf also sells bombs, but more importantly, you can buy the recipe to craft ginger egg from him. Ginger Ale will give you a plus 1 luck boost and with key seasoning this will become a plus 2 luck boost. It is just worth it. If you are like me, you might completely ignore the townspeople and go 10 in-game years without marrying anyone. Don't be like me, because you will be missing out on a star drop. Star drops are great, you know, they increase your maximum energy and there are only 7 of these in the game. Every single star drop will make your life much easier. So do the right thing, marry someone, keep giving them gifts until they have at least 12 hearts. Get the star drop and and then divorce them. Okay, the last step is optional, you don't have to divorce them. By now, you probably know that if you get two hearts with Marnie, she will allow you to get into her bedroom. And in her bedroom, you will find Mayor Lewis's lucky purple shorts. You can do a bunch of great things with these shorts. You could wear them, give them back to Mayor Lewis, or you can prank him. But some of the things you could do with these will result in you losing the shorts. If you give Mayor Lewis's shorts while he's at Ginger Island, he will wear them at the beach. But then they are gone. Or Forever. Instead, you could prank Mary Lewis with his shorts, laugh at him, and then reset the day. That way, you can continue to prank him even more. Put them in the soup at the Lau festival, use them at the Stardew Valley Fair, and wear them when you speak to him. So much lost potential if you let them disappear forever. Okay, this next one is pretty simple, but just in case a brand new player watches this video, here it is. During character creation, you can get to pick between a cat and a dog. A couple days into your playthrough, Marnie will come over and ask if you would like to adopt this animal as a pet. If you say no to Marnie's request, you will never be able to get your pet on that save file. So make sure to click yes so you don't miss out on your pet blocking your paw at 1am at night when you are running rushing to get back to bed. This next one is also pretty simple, but it can negatively affect your playthrough. After you complete a community center bundle, you will get some reward. Most of the rewards are pretty good and some are basically game changing, like the crystallarium and the seed maker for example. To collect these rewards, you will need to click on the present button and then add it to your inventory. If you forget to collect these rewards and complete the community center, these rewards will be gone forever. You will never be able to claim these rewards. It won't ruin your playthrough if you miss out on these. But it is wise to make sure you have collected all of the rewards before you finish your lost bundle. Once you have reached the first day in your third year, your grandfather will come over and evaluate the progress you have made on your farm. There are four candles that can light up during this evaluation. If all four candles light up, you will get a really nice reward. You will get a statue of perfection. This statue will produce some iridium ore for you every single day, which is pretty nice. If you have failed to get 4 candles lit in time, you need not worry. Luckily for us, you can get a re-evaluation. All you need to do is sacrifice a diamond and your grandfather will re-evaluate your farm. Back in the day, you could not re-evaluate your farm and it caused a lot of stress among the players. Don't miss out on more Stardew Valley videos. That's right, with a simple click of a button, you can never miss out on another Stardew Valley video. So hit subscribe if you love this game. 
I was quite surprised to learn that a lot of people don't prioritize the special order quests that can be found in the town. These quests might not seem that great at first, but the rewards for some of these are actually incredible. Here is a quick rundown on the best rewards. After completing the island ingredients quest, you will learn how to make solar panels. These can produce a battery pack every 7 days as long as it is sunny. Complete the prismatic jelly quest to get the recipe to craft monster musk. Monster musk will cause more enemies to spawn in the mines and in the skull cavern. This stuff is seriously good for farming resources. The curious substance quest will reward you with the recipe to craft a mini obelisk. You can place two of these on your farm and if you click on one of them, you will teleport to the other one. Take advantage of these mini obelisks. Completing the biome balance or the aquatic overpopulation quest will get you a farm computer. This is just a really fun item. It will show you a bunch of stats about your farm and will let you know when machines are ready for harvesting or if crops are not watered. Complete the community cleanup quest as soon as you can because you will learn how to make fiber seeds. This might not seem that great at first, but with the addition of the 1.5 update, we need fiber for all kinds of things now. Fiber seeds are just so incredibly valuable. This last one is incredibly important. Robin will ask for 80 hardwood. Completing this quest will allow you to buy a deluxe double bed from Robin. You need this bed. What? Are you gonna make make your spouse sleep on that old uncomfortable bed? Don't you have a heart? Get the deluxe bed. Omni geodes are great. You can crack them open at Clint for a bunch of rewards like prismatic shards, minerals, and artifacts. If you have excess omni geodes, you can trade them in for artifact troves at the desert trader. Each artifact trove will cost 5 omni geodes, which is expensive, but it can be worth it. Take these artifact troves to Clint to open them up. These can contain a golden pumpkin and even a treasure chest. There is actually an omni geode farming method that not many people know about. You will need to complete the danger in the deep special order request. This will turn the regular mines into a more dangerous version. In these mines, you can find a new type of ghost, a carbon ghost to be precise. Carbon ghosts have a 99% chance to drop an omni geode. This makes getting omni geodes extremely easy. Naturally, you should always be wearing a burglar ring and using monster musk to make this even easier. The easiest way to find carbon ghosts is by simply entering floor 35 in the dangerous version of the mines, defeating them, leaving the mines and then entering floor 35 again. You will have a full stack of omni geodes in no time. And those are some of the things you might be missing out in Stardew Valley. To be honest, there are so many things that I could put in this video, so maybe I will make a part 2. But that will have to wait for the next video. Thanks for watching.